My name is Olga Gonzalez. I'm the executive director at Cultivando. I think a lesson that I learned that impacted me was really um, realizing that there are so few women in leadership positions. So what I'm hoping to do is really through increasing our visibility and our voice and shedding light on that inequity, I'm hoping that things will change and really hoping to elevate other women so that they could demand more. We deserve more for the work that we do. I'm Holly Seeley, president and CEO of North Suburban Medical Center. Two things I think are really important, and it's being influential and it's being inspiring. It's not, you know, being the smartest one in the room. I think it's being relatable. It's, it's being um, approachable. It's listening, and then it's really inspiring people to to better themselves. My name is Lulu Bancy. I'm the director of innovation and partnerships at Emily Griffith Tech College. I want my children to grow up and see that you really can have it all. And I don't mean that in a cliched way. It's, it's very difficult to make choices of balance and family. So if you want to go out there and change the world and build the biggest company or travel the world or take photographs and do water paintings, whatever it is that makes them truly feel fulfilled is what I want them to do. Our daughters are watching and they're listening and it is our responsibility to make sure that all the doors are open. Elsa Olguin and I am the president and CEO of the Denver Preschool Program. Well, I have been very lucky. I actually have had many mentors, um, particularly Latinas, that have opened a lot of doors and a lot of opportunities for me. But I grew up in a matriarchal family where the women were the leaders. So I tried very hard to do the same with my daughters, with my sisters, and with my community to say, how do I give back what I had the opportunity to experience? Because we should all have that opportunity. Paige Goss, uh, I'm the founder and CEO of Point Solutions Group. I kind of have a mantra of uh, the three G's, and that's grit, grind, and growth. You know, I spent a lot of time living a double life, um, trying to pretend that I was somebody different, and the second that I was really like, nope, this is me, this is what I represent, and this is what I want to inspire people to do, the rest sort of took care of itself. Now I've built and grown a business, and hopefully I can help several other women along the way grow businesses themselves. I'm Amanda Gordon, owner of Gojo Auto, and in 2018 I became the first black woman in Colorado to own a car dealership. Looking back over my 20-year career, uh, the most impactful person in my life, of course, is my mother. Um, and if she taught me anything, it was perseverance. No matter what, we keep going. Challenges are gonna arise, adversity is going to happen, but when you have your eye on the prize, nothing can stop you. I miss you, and this is for you. My name is Angie Rivetta Malpietti. I'm the Vice President of the Foundation of Urban Sustainable Communities. I was at a conference and I had been a presenter and I had a lovely, she really was very lovely, come over to me, tap me on the back and say, honey, can you go grab me a cup of coffee? Because she thought I was the help instead of the speaker. And I dealt with that all the time in my career. But the most amazing time in my career was when I signed the federal funding agreement to build out fast tracks for $1 billion that changed the economic status of this entire region. And I thought, there, there's your cup of coffee. <laughs> I'm Kelly Duncan. I'm president and CEO of Community First Foundation. When you get into a leadership position, you're gonna read a lot about what you should be doing, how you should be acting, how you should be leading. But the most important thing is to remember who you are, stay true to your values, and lead from your true authentic self, because that's the only way that people are gonna be able to follow and believe in what you're asking them to do. My name is Val Nosler Beck, and I'm the founder of Upstream. I ran for election at one point. Uh, I ran for city council in Wheat Ridge, and I lost. I had all this experience as a political staffer, and then when I went to go do it myself as a mom of an 18-month-old and a three-year-old, I couldn't swing it. What I decided to do was turn that into my business, and that's really what I do at Upstream. And so that was a huge lesson learned, um, and I, I found a niche, and I'm helping women run for office all over the place that had the same kind of constraints that I did. My name is Dr. Denise Caleb, and I'm the president of the HR Standards Institute. I do a lot of work within diversity and inclusion, and when you look at it from an underrepresented population, for instance, as a woman of color, the reason why that becomes so imperative 
is because there's often less of us in the room that have that opportunity to be at the table. But you're, if you're not even in the room, you definitely need a sponsor to be there for you. And so that whole notion of sponsorship becomes critical um, from my perspective from women of color. My name is Amy Humble. I'm the co-founder and president of Disruption Advisors. We focus on helping people grow to their fullest potential. I have always had a deep desire to go. I'm frequently known as the jet fuel, but I need an engine. My business partner, Whitney Johnson, she has these amazing ideas that when brought to life, I think transform organizations, and I like to be the jet fuel that helps us move and shape where we're going. My name is Dr. Dwinita Mosby-Tyler, and I'm the chief catalyst of the Equity Project. We have to remind women that there's no need to compare themselves to anyone else. The journey is a compartmentalized journey and it really is all about you. Your excellence isn't to be compared to anybody else's excellence because other women are not the benchmark for you. You are the benchmark for you. And how cool is that?